Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the GPS Logger app. The GPS Logger is a free Android app developed by Basic Air Data and this app can be used to collect waypoints and tracks much like one would use a GPS receiver for field surveys. It is completely ad free and permits you to save your stored waypoints and tracks as text files, GPX files and KML files which you can later view in Google Earth or in a GIS environment. So in short, the GPS Logger app permits you to use your smartphone like a GPS receiver. So you can download the um, GPS Logger app from the Google Play Store and once you have installed the app uh, you should see um, an icon like this and when you press or tap that icon uh, this is the starting screen uh, of the GPS logger. Um, I would like to mention that the GPS logger software requires you to switch on your GPS so uh, once you do that it stabilizes the signal and within a short time you should see what you are seeing on the page at this particular point in time uh, the GPS logger fixed screen shows you your latitude, your longitude, altitude if you are walking, your speed of travel and an estimate of accuracy so once you have uh, a signal um, you can then start collecting your waypoints and tracks but before um, I actually tell you how to do that. Let me just take you through um, the other screens on this app. So there is a, a track page and you can tap on the track list page. So when you want to record your tracks or waypoints you can come to this page and press this button over here to record a waypoint or you can press this button over here to start recording a track or you can also press both of them together so as you are recording a track you can also stop and record place marks when you save uh, the recorded waypoints and tracks they will appear on this third screen of this app when you tap the track list button you should see your saved waypoints and tracks on the screen so before I tell you how to record your waypoints and tracks in this app let me show you the settings page and so you can tap on this menu and tap on the settings and you see the settings screen here so there are a few um, interesting things that you can do so you can keep the screen on this is a handy button to keep on when you're working in the field such that your smartphone does not switch off or becomes inactive uh, if you switch this button on here, it will show your coordinates in decimal degrees. Um, from here you can actually set um, the units for your speed measurement. Um, this option permits you to set an update frequency. So uh, this is the time interval in which a GPS point will be recorded while you are moving on a track. I'll come to this option a little later on um, but this option permits you to have really accurate uh, altitude readings. As we go down um, we have options for exporting so you can switch this on to uh, export your save waypoints and tracks as a comma separated or CSV text file. You can switch this on to export your waypoints and tracks as a GPX file and you can switch this on to export your waypoints and tracks as a KML file. So this is uh, what is available in the settings menu and you can try some of these options yourself. So let us head back again and we are back again to our GPS fix screen. Let me now show you how to record waypoints and tracks. So to record waypoints and tracks, you have to press this button. Let us go on to the track page. 
So before you start recording your waypoints and tracks, it is advisable that you go out in the field and have the GPS logger app um, on for at least four or five minutes such that it gets a, a really good and stable fix. And once you have done that, you can start collecting your waypoints and tracks. So to record a waypoint, you just simply walk to a place where you want to record a waypoint and then just simply tap on the place mark button here. So as you do that, a waypoint is recorded and you can just simply label it or name it and press add. And one place mark has actually been recorded. So you can then walk forward and record another place mark or waypoint. Just tap on this button here and likewise give another name and add and then walk a little more and collect another waypoint tap on the place mark button here and name the waypoint and add so this way you can collect as many waypoints as you want and it's showing you that currently we have collected three waypoints but notice that in the track list uh, there is nothing it's empty so the important point in this app is that after you have collected all your waypoints you need to save those waypoints and you do that by double tapping on this button here. This is a peculiar thing with this app um, and you have to double tap to save your place marks. So when you double tap on this um, your tracks and waypoints get stored in the track list. They appear here and in this particular case you can see that we recorded three waypoints. Go back again and see how to record a track. So to record a track all you need to do is just simply tap on this button and your track starts getting recorded. So you can just start keep you know you can w start walking and um, at every one second interval recall from the settings page you had set this interval uh, a coordinate is recorded and you can just keep walking and your track will actually be recorded. So once you have finished your track all you need to do is to tap on this button to stop recording one more time. So uh, the track is comprising of 27 points. Notice again that the uh, this button has appeared and this track has yet not been saved in the track list. So to save it and um, write it onto your smartphone memory or SD card, you need to double tap this um, button again. This appears only after you have collected the points. So as I double tap on it, you will see that um, the track has also been recorded and it has 27 points. I'm actually recording this from inside the room, but if you were walking, you would also see the shape of the track right here. So let's head back one more time and see just one more um, option. So you, you can have a third situation where you start recording a track and as you walk, you can also record a place mark. So as you are walking, you want to record a waypoint. So you stop, your track continues to get recorded and you can also record a place mark. So you can just simply give it a name and add. So the track is getting recorded and we have also recorded one place mark. We walk a little forward and we add another waypoint and add and so we are walking our track is getting recorded and we have also recorded a number of 
place marks. So once we are done, we are finished with the track, we can just simply tap on this button to stop recording and then come back here on top and double tap on this um, button here and you will see that a third um, track has been saved which is um, having a track comprising of 55 points and it is also having two waypoints or place marks. So to export any of these uh, all you need to do is just to tap on them and you have an option you can either delete it or you can export it so I'm going to tap on export and the moment you do this there is a, a small red line that appears here indicating that the track has been exported it is very momentary so let us just try to uh, export this as well so all you need to do is just tap on it and say export so when you do that this is also exported and one more time click on this and say export so when I'm doing this because I had already set in my settings that it has to be exported as a comma separated value file KML file and GPX file uh, these files have been exported and saved inside the GPS logger folder on your smartphone so when we open the GPS logger folder um, on the smartphone uh, these files that we have exported are available here uh, they are in the GPX format, KML format and text format uh, for all three um, options that we have considered um, and discussed uh, in the video and you can just simply connect a USB cable and download these files on your computer and then view them in Google Earth or inside a GIS environment so these are some points that I have collected using uh, the GPS logger app shown by the red dots here and at the same time at the same point also collected um, a reading using a standard GPS receiver and as you can see the GPS logger app works really well you can also open the KML files um, uh, or the GPX files inside a GIS environment and I have done that um, uh, in QGIS so this is the screen of QGIS and you can analyze your collected data in the GIS environment a few final things uh, if you can head back to settings um, remember there is an option that says altitude corrections so if you switch this on a file is downloaded and uh, it's about 2 MB in size and it is an altitude correction file or a model so once it has been downloaded and this option is switched on as it has happened now altitude or elevation readings will become much more accurate than what they are without this option with this option on we have observed that altitude values of waypoints are quite close to what you would get from a recreational grade GPS receiver another point that is uh, worth mentioning is that you do not need uh, data connectivity to run the GPS logger app in the field however uh, we recommend that you try the app out in your field area before beginning your actual field survey we have also noted that the app is battery friendly and it does not excessively drain the smartphone battery while working in the field if you have the Google Earth app installed on your phone you also get an option while exporting to show you your waypoints and tracks directly on Google Earth but for this you must have the Google Earth app installed on your phone when you are done you can just tap on the menu button here and then tap one more time on shutdown and the app will exit cleanly in summary the GPS logger is a very nice app that can be used to collect waypoints and tracks for field surveys it is free without ads open and requires minimal permissions to install and provides you with great export options 
One of the biggest plus points of this app is its simple, easy to use, clean interface that focuses on the essentials and works really well. We encourage you to try out this great app and assess if it meets your particular field survey requirements. I would also like to thank Basic Air Data for developing and generously sharing this app and I hope that they continue to support this app in the future. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching.